Hello and welcome to this week's video. I am in Serengard, my single player world, and I have been doing a little bit of work in the industrial district. So there is the factory over there and we are just going across a bridge, a railway bridge that I have built and it's coming into the station. Uh, we, oh yeah, it's, Hmm. It was stopping on that first one before, but now it's not. It'll stop on this one. Anyway, welcome to the Industrial District's railway station where all of the goods from the docks over there of Woodville, no, Woodlock, Woodlock, <laughs> over there will be coming past the town station which was the one that I started off from there and we'll be coming across this bridge to the industrial district oh no hang on sorry it, they'll be coming the goods will be coming from here to the docks to be shipped out let's just um find my bed and sleep and then I will get my head sorted as to uh, which way around it is yes that's correct the goods will be going from this district to Woodlock to be shipped out to far-flung countries. So I will have a quick look around what I have built here. I have started off a little footpath bridge across there. I will sort the lava out. We're not going to make the workers walk through the lava so that the workers can get the train as well. They can come here and they can walk along to work from here. I'm intending on making kind of like a yard here and some sheds because I think this might be the end of the line, although I will have scope to make this line carry on if needs be. And then this is going to be a road that goes up to the kind of the industrial quarter over there. Yeah, that's looking a bit lonely on its own, but I will be making more factories. So this is, it's not massive, um, but I think maybe now I've built it, I might do like a, a really big one, a bigger size in more of like a city uh, because this is only going to be a small town and, and it's only a small industrial build district and I think this this will do for the time being but it's kind of based on the Victorian railways which had the big uh, arching roofs um, Newcastle Central Station is like this but on a bigger scale because it's got more than like two tracks and I um, yes the only way to get to the other platform to go back again or to come from that direction is over this little bit here so that's why I've put these these flat bits in so you don't walk on the whoop bumpy tracks here and this is a little waiting room because and you never know people might from kind of outlying villages and things might come and use the railway to get back to Woodville and to Foxton by the sea so I'm not discounting that uh, that it will be passengers as well I decided to go with the granite to kind of tie in with the brick colour of the first build in the industrial building and um, industrial district. This is the little ticket office and um, we've got a little kind of square at the front here and then the mangrove roof I thought looked quite nice and it's just like a, a hip roof on there. And then you can see the bridge slightly from here. I didn't go too fancy with it. Let's just get a little bit of a closer look. Uh, this is not the best side. Stone brick and deep slate brick to deep slate to go with the actual station over there. I've kind of built a retaining wall there as well and on the other side for the square. And then a little bit of granite inset just as a little detail and then I've kind of put these suspension wires on because it is quite a long bridge um, over there so the only thing that I need to do is um, 
is just do a little trim on the bit that goes like down ways this way uh, so I will figure that out and then I will get back to you I think I'm gonna have to somehow disguise all these torches I did I mean you can see the levers from down here but from the side uh, this this trim of deep slate hides them but I'm not that bothered about the uh, about those down there might be that I do something about it in the future but um, yeah, let's work this out. Right, I've put stairs on the side of the cobble and then I did put a slab there to do the transition from that stair to that stair. But then I realized that there was still a bit of cobble like that on the side. So I've put a stair there and then I've put another stair next to it to hide the torch and then going to go with a stair there and a stair there oh am i am i stuck on something yes <laughs> and a stair there and then of course there'll be one at the side and then to hide the torches from underneath i'm going to go across like that with the slabs and probably um I'm not sure that I'm mad about that being there I might just leave that and just save on resources but I'll get the rest of that done and then I will be back with you that does make the bridge a bit bulky Ooh, just bobbing up now it does make the bridge a bit bulky when it's coming down there um it's a shame that there aren't like trapdoors, grey trapdoors, because that would make that smoother. I think I'll leave it for the minute. Oh, unless I did. I could do some spruce trapdoors on there. Let's have a look. I was wondering why that would place like that and that one would place like that, but I've just realised it's because of the. <laughs> because of the torch isn't it so oh yes that looks better that looks much better I've forgotten to do that one there but yeah I think I'm gonna go with that it's still a tiny bit bulky but I can live with that it is just a bridge it's the underneath of it and well you might be down here but uh yeah that is uh, that is it so, yeah oh no Ah, yes, I can be in the ticket booth. I just I just needed to stand in the right place. Just another short one. This week I will probably be doing some update videos from Serengard. I don't have that much time to record. And I'm alternating with art video one week and Minecraft video the next. But hopefully you have enjoyed this little update video. I have really enjoyed being back in the kind of the, the normal world of Serengard rather than in the mangrove swamp. And um, I, I like all my things being here. <laughs> so I it, yeah, I would have to kind of get everything set up in the, the mangrove swamp before I um, started building properly over there. But hopefully I will have finished this next time and bring uh, next time I bring you another update video from my single player world. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will shall see you in the next one. Bye.